comic. He plays at colleges and clubs all over the city. I'd like you to give a big round of applause for Daniel Parafan. Can I just keep it going for her? Keep it going! Keep it going. Oh man. Aren't I dressed like my dad's gonna pick me up later? <laughs> problems medically is that I think I'm more adorable than my doctor finds me healthy. <laughs> so I was getting some blood sugar worked out and he comes to the room and he's like, we gotta talk about these results. I was like, what am I, too sweet? He's like, you're dying. Uh, that's never what you want to hear. Uh, I am like a, I'm like a chunky dude and you guys don't know, one of the worst things about being overweight is that people will try to hook you up with their overweight friends. <laughs> Every time, even if you have nothing in common, they'll be like, this is Cindy, she also loves to go not jogging. <laughs> you guys are great, you're emancipated in fat heaven. Uh, fat heaven, everything ranks down. Fat heaven, the streets are made of bacon. Right. A little more about me. Uh, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't look it, but I am, uh, I'm Hispanic, I'm Colombian, and uh, I don't have like a Latin look. Do you know what I mean? I, uh, I, I get into like weird situations all the time because I don't look Hispanic. I was in Brooklyn last week and I got stopped and frisked by a cop. The cop grabs my thing. He's like, Daniel Paraffin, where's that name from? And I was like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm Latino. He's like, oh, you're Latino. You don't look Latino. <laughs> Good for you, like that. <laughs> you said that. A police officer said that. Upsetting. It's like true. I don't look Hispanic. Do you know what I mean? At all. I don't have a, a look like that. I look vaguely racist. I have that look. <laughs> right? Don't I look like someone that should be waving the American flag all the time? Right? I got that look. It's like weird. I also like, I don't think I'm that good looking. And I can tell because of how people react when I tell them I have a twin. <laughs> Because I'm always like, I have a twin, and I was like, whoa, why is there no God? <laughs> <laughs> a little messed up. Please. Uh, I do. I got a Here's a, you brought me up right. You brought me up right. Uh, it's probably just Daniel. But I changed my name I was a while back uh, because I was born Dennis. My mom named my twin sister Diana after the Roman goddess of the moon, and she named me Dennis after she misspelled Dennis. <laughs> Do you guys get that? Do you guys get what I'm saying? That a room full of doctors just let that happen? <laughs> 14 years of school, and they're like, hey, is this immigrant no English? No, should we let him name her kid? Yeah, whatever. It's not gonna affect him the rest of his life. He's not gonna be growing up chubby if we're gonna call him Danish. <laughs> I, uh, I go, I go, I go, I go. My best friend, uh, he writes for pornos. He writes the title names to pornography. And I pitched him what I thought was the best name for a gay porno that is frat themed. Right? It's the best name for a gay porno that's frat themed. Come at me, bro. Tell me not. <laughs> right? Oh, it's amazing. It's an amazing life. You would watch that. I don't care what you would say. The name would be interesting. I see that. I, uh,. I like go online a lot. I think all of us do that. I mostly go online just to hate on things I see online. Do you know what I mean? Like I was, I saw these quotes and I just got really angry. I saw this one quote it just <coughs> pissed me off. Uh, this is the quote. This is, this is exactly what it says. Uh, a man's greatest fear is to have a woman laugh at him. A woman's greatest fear is to have a man kill her. <laughs> 
I was like, nope, that's mine too. <laughs> I had very little arms and poor reflexes. There's not much I could do with this. Uh, it's like weird. I don't have any reach. Do you do that? As far as that goes. Yeah. Uh, I think the human body is fascinating. Uh, she's just laughing at the word "redick." All right. Uh, I think the human body is fascinating. I, I think it's interesting that you can tell who does meth just by how their hand shapes when they comb their rat tail. <laughs> I'm not a good reader. I can read. That's not a thing. You have things. That's not. That's like my thing. I'm not reading at all. Uh, technically illiterate is what they said at the school. All right. Uh, what happens? I don't know. I uh, I go through like different things. You know what I mean, like I I do with like uh, different issues. Uh, like all right. This is what I mean. I get like awkward situations a lot. Where I was in this bar and I was talking to this lady. Uh, and we were like just talking about hooking up, and we were talking about sexual fantasies. And she was like, "I would love it if some guy took me to some room and just tied me up." What's your sexual fantasy? And I was like, "To have sex." <laughs> if I could have it once, uh, it'd be so great. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I gotta go in a second. Uh, but this is true. This is like a true, uh, true story. I, uh, I, I think women are, are really bad at hand jobs. I think that's something we can all agree on, right, men, ladies? No one likes them, all right? It's time for the truth, ladies. I think women are just awful at hand jobs. And uh, I just wanted to give a quick tip of advice, ladies. It's up and down, okay? Up and down. Not up, down, sad look on your face. <laughs> Someone I always get. All right, guys.